Hi there, my name is Taylor Purvis. I am a fourth year medical student at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, and I am one of the contributors to Sketchy Medical uh, IM course, and I'm really excited about its launch. I took my internal medicine course about a year ago, and I have been a long time fan of everything Sketchy Medical in preparation for Sketchy, for my microbiology course, I watched Sketchy Micro. In preparation for step one, I did all the farm videos and all the Sketchy Path videos that were available at the time. So I've always been a devoted fan. Um, and for me, when it came time to my internal medicine course, I basically, early on, kind of the first couple days of the course, uh, picked a couple resources that I thought would work for me. And I'm very much the type of person who gets overwhelmed if there's too many resources available. And so there were a lot of people suggesting different things, but for me, really, all I needed was sketchy materials and you world questions. Um, and so basically what I did was, because I didn't have the luxury of using Sketchy IM, it wasn't available at the time, I basically hodgepodge together all the micro uh, videos that were available and all of the Sketchy Path videos and then kind of, I would print out the pictures and actually draw in little extras, kind of how we would manage it clinically and that type of thing. Um, so I'm very jealous of the folks out there who are listening to this who have the luxury of being able to use Sketchy IM because I think it would have been such a blessing to have for my own internal medicine course. And I can tell you as a contributor to Sketchy, so as someone who has helped develop these scripts for Sketchy internal medicine, I know the process and I know how rigorous it is because I've been in the thick of it. And uh, you know, it really is formatted based on all the UWorld questions um, that are uh, related to a specific topic. And then the script is actually developed from those UWorld questions. So for me, knowing that I'm a, I tend to like um, both visual learning but also question banks, it was really, it would be you know, really helpful uh, for me to have had a resource that was based on those UWorld questions that I was relying on already. That way I could learn the material and the content in the, in the format that I know works for me, which is this visual learning, visual storytelling, remembering the picture in my mind and the symbols, and then being able to transfer it immediately to the questions when it came time to review those. Um, so I really am very, very jealous of folks who have the opportunity to use Sketchy IM, and I'm really excited about its launch. So I actually am applying into anesthesia. I am gonna match soon in a few months here, and I recently took my Step 2 CK exam. And so I actually had the luxury of using a couple of the, uh, the scripts that I was helping to develop to study for my Step 2 CK exam. Um, so I've already kind of seen firsthand how helpful they can be in preparation for these exams. So I hope you're as excited about the launch of Sketchy IM as I am. I know for me, I'm looking ahead to preparing for my Step 3 exam and I'll certainly be relying on these resources to review topics. Um, you know, there's a number of wonderful new features uh, that have come out since I was studying for my Sketchy Micro and studying for my Sketchy Path. These review cards and being able to review the scenes with the hotspots in a really accessible format, being able to toggle back and forth between different scripts um, and different different slides. I think it's just uh, a really well-made product and I have every confidence that if you rely on it as your primary study tool um, alongside the UWorld questions, I think you're going to be really well prepared both for your clinical everyday uh, experience on the wards on your internal medicine course, as well as your actual shelf exam. Um, and then also going into the future, I think it's hard to forget these uh, sketchy videos and the pictures. I think they'll be forever uh, emblazoned into your mind and that's the way it should be. And that's what makes it such a great product. So thank you so much for, for listening and listening to me share my perspective and I really hope you enjoy using it.